This is the story of a rock, not to be confused with the rock, aka Dwayne Johnson. Every rock has a story and a history. Some of the oldest rocks are in the Adirondack Mountains in upstate New York, and many of them are as old is two billion years. Most mountains are created by stress or volcanic activity and form rocks such as these, lava. And this is what a lava looks like after it's been cooled and it forms these particular types of rocks. But that is not how the Adirondack Mountains were created. The Adirondack Mountains were created by heat and pressure when the North American continent collided with oceanic plates. The collision still to this day causes the mountain to lift up a millimeter every two years. Now that may not seem very interesting, but it's still different than how other mountains have been created. This collision caused the mountains to be more shaped like a dome than peaked. Now, we learned in earth science class that there are many different types of, of, there are three types of rocks, igneous, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks, basic rocks, but each rock is different. The history of these rocks are what shaped them, where they come from, and how they were created and how they changed over the years. With erosion and water movement, even fire, air, and earth, each rock, no matter how big, or how small, has its own path from a chip off a mountain, and that is marble, to a rolling stone through a forest, or one being pushed down the creek for miles and resting on the base of the creek bed. This may seem mundane or even boring or nerdy or geeky, but I have a fascination for rocks. Raw, true formed rocks, gems and minerals. And of course, even sometimes, when they are polished. Rocks cannot be judged by their outside. As we show with geodes, this is a full geode right here. It is uncut. It 
It's just a whole geode. But when we cut a geode open, the beauty inside is like people. If we look, beauty is on the inside and not on the outside. But even the outside of these rocks show a story where they've been, what we've done. And this one I can say was very difficult to cut open because where some geodes have hollow points, this is more solid. So where it was cut, it may have been hollow in here, but not in here. I love my rocks and I have a grand rock collection and I like sharing my stories. When my hands allow, I sometimes make rock sculptures. In my life, by the way, that was my mother's marble, but in my life, I wanted to be three things growing up. A teacher, a writer, and a geologist. Though I was a writer and a teacher, and some say I still am, I was never a geologist, but it never stopped my love for collecting rocks. Beauty may be in the eye of the beholder, but even rocks, when you turn them upside down, they show a different story. Thanks for watching. This has been Amy Shannon, former writer, but still a storyteller.